In this tutorial, I will show you how to easily add hidden text in Microsoft Word. And we'll talk about why that's useful and a couple of situations when you might want to do this. So here we have a quiz for, let's say, a junior high or a middle school class. We have some questions here, and then the answers are supposed to be written here at the left. And I've gone ahead and put in the correct answers. Also down below, here's a second part to this quiz, a vocabulary quiz. The students are supposed to look at the words here at the left and then match them with the definitions on the right by writing letters here in this column. And again, I've put the correct answers in already. So one possible use of hidden text in Word is that you can have one document serve two purposes. So this document, it's a two-part quiz, but it can also serve as the answer key for the quiz. So how can we make this text here at the left hidden so that the students don't see it? Well, all I have to do is click and drag to highlight the word or words that I want to be hidden, and then simply go up here to the Home tab, Home ribbon, look in the Font group, and there should be a little button here in the corner. I call this the Launch button. I click that, it opens up, and one of the many font options that we get inside this box that appears is the option for hidden text. So if I check that box and then click OK, all of the answers are now hidden. Now even though they're hidden, they still exist. They still are here in the document. However, I can't seem to select them and I can't seem to change them either. It is actually possible to change them. If you start typing, they do reappear. Another way to do the same thing is to go up here in the paragraph group on the home ribbon and look for this show hide symbol. So if you click that, it does show even your hidden text. But I'll just click that again to hide it because this is exactly what I want. I want to be able to print this out, hand it to the students, and have them fill in the blanks with the correct answers. But I also want to be able to click this button when I need to and maybe print out an answer key or even just refer to this as I'm grading. I'm going to click that again to get rid of the hidden text. And let's go down here to the second half of this quiz. And we'll just do it again one more time so that you can see again how to hide text in Microsoft Word. With the text selected, I go to the home ribbon in the font group. I click this button here and go in and hide. Click OK and all of the answer text is hidden. Now, another way to get those back, if you don't want to click this button and get all of the paragraph marks and the formatting marks and the hidden text, the other way to bring it back and make it not hidden text is to simply select the part of the text that's hidden, at least as much as you can, and then go back to font, click the button in the corner, and then uncheck hidden, click OK, and they all come back. So it does take several steps. That's why I choose most often to just hide text like this. And then when I need to see it again, it's easy just to go to the paragraph group and click this button here to remind me of what the correct answers are. And then I can rehide it again. So let's see what happens when I go in and try to print this quiz. Of course, I could just go here to File and click Print, but I'm going to use the shortcut key, Control P. That brings up the Print dialog box. And we get a print preview. You can see right there in the print preview that the hidden text will not be printed. So my example here of a quiz or a test, I think is a great example of when hidden text in Microsoft Word is helpful. But there are other ways to use hidden text. So I want to challenge you to try to see other ways you could use hidden text in Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, click the bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, become a supporter of mine through my Patreon account. And you'll see a link to that in the description below.